I'm about to give you an unfair advantage over other guys with the seven strategies in this video. These seven tips that I'm about to share with you are gonna make you the most attractive person in your friend group and probably the most attractive person in your life. Number one, we all know that cologne is a great way to stand out and leave a trace of yourself everywhere you go. But have you ever thought about wearing a different scent of cologne and testing it out in different situations? This is how I get an organic reaction to people to see which colognes they actually like that I'm wearing. And I like to figure out which ones my wife likes too. Testing out different fragrances for different situations will allow you to see which one people gravitate towards more. When I'm in an office setting or a professional setting, I like wearing a very masculine but clean fragrance. In these situations, you wanna be cleaned and well-groomed, but you don't wanna scare off people with a very loud sense of fragrance. Of course, when you're going on a date, you wanna wear something that's more sweeter and attractive. A lot of times when I go on dates with my wife or when we go out, I try different sweet fragrances to see which one she likes more. I don't tell her what exactly one I'm wearing, but when I get an honest reaction of her saying, what do you have on? This right here is an indicator that they like the scent that you're wearing. I've even done this with some of my friends that are also fragrance snobs like myself. When I dap one of my friends up, this always happens if I'm wearing a good scent. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, bro, what is that you're wearing? I need that. This whole encompassing tip right here will make you more attractive and make people want to be around you, no matter the gender, because people like likable people. Number two, you must learn how to banter and flirt. Now, if you watch shows like Family Guy, Seinfeld, or even my favorite, Fresh Prince. Uh, maybe you can help me out here. I seem to have lost all the feeling in my lips. <laughs> then you know what this means by banter and flirt. Whenever Will is in a social setting, he's not extremely loud, but he also shows off his personality by telling jokes or being able to banter back and forth. One of the top things that people are most attracted to when it comes to a person is personality. If you're a person that's in school or even in a work setting that you see someone and you're trying to flirt with them, give them a compliment, but also insult them at the same time. So one of the things that I did when I first met my wife is when we were having a conversation and I found out that she was a college basketball player, a division one college basketball player. I told her, you have a really nice jump shot, but I bet I could beat you in a game of fours. <laughs> Instantly, this gave chemistry between us because she wants to prove to me that she has a way better jump shot, but she also is flattered that I told her that she has a nice jump shot. This immediately in a social setting starts connection between you and another person that you're flirting with. Number three, you want to make sure that your grooming reflects more masculine traits on your face. Now, what's really important way to make you more attractive in your face is that you want to make sure that you have more angles in your face. So one of the ways that you can sharpen different angles in your face is by focusing on your eyebrows. A way that you can make your eyebrows more masculine is by grabbing some tweezers or some razors and shaving down the excess hair on your eyebrows. You want to do this that way that the natural line of your eye follows the natural line of your eyebrow. This is what they call hunter eyebrows. When you have hunter eyebrows, this is a more attractive trait that women like on men. The second thing that you can do from research that I have found on the internet, women like a shorter beard on men versus a much thicker, bigger beard. Clean cut looks are more acceptable and more attractive across all cultures and ethnicities. Hey man, don't hate me if you got a big beard. This is just what I found research says. Don't kill the messenger. Number four, wear accessories. It's the summertime. This is one of the number one ways that you want to make your outfit stand out. As you can see, I'm wearing accessories in this video, but you may have not even noticed that because they just complement my outfit. And this is what I love the most about accessories. Accessories are meant to complement your outfit not overpower it. Some of the best summer accessories that are most attractive is going to be sunglasses or just frames. I have noticed that sunglasses or frames that have colored tint in them are very stylish and very attractive. Another accessory that you could do is a chain. One of the top reasons why chains and necklaces have been one of the most attractive items that men wear is because this brings attention to this real estate area right here. This also is a simple way to complement your outfit during the summertime because you can't wear many layers. There are two ways that I like wearing chains. I like wearing a simple daily chain that's a link. I also like stacking it with another one up under it that's at least two inches longer like this tennis necklace. Now what you wanna keep in mind about jewelry is figuring out does silver or gold look best on your skin tone. If you have more of a reddish, warmer undertone, you should wear gold. This can be rose gold, 
or just regular yellow gold. Now, if you have more of a cool undertone, you should wear silver. This looks best on your skin tone. Some of you may be wondering, how could I make my outfit more stylish during the summertime? And I'm glad you asked. The summer style guide that I created is available today. Across all of my social media platforms, I see guys always struggle to be able to wear a stylish outfit in the summertime. Guys are always saying, what do I wear on vacation? What do I wear on a date? What do I wear if I'm meeting my girlfriend's parents? What do I even wear to weddings or graduations? Because I hear all of these things, I want to give guys eight different outfits that any man can wear in any of these situations. We also put links to each item in every outfit in the style guide. But that's not even my favorite part about what we did with this particular summer style guide. You will be able to achieve a stylish look with each of these eight outfits under $100. Yes, you heard me right. All these outfits are under $100. Some of these outfits are even less than 75 bucks. I'm talking shoes, shirt, and pants. This is honestly one of the most exciting things we've done because I know being stylish is hard sometimes, but being able to be stylish for an affordable price makes it even sweeter. This shirt right here is only $20. So if your shirt is only $20, that gives you 80 extra dollars to invest in your pants and your shoes. And we're just getting started there. We also will be offering in this style guide eight style tutorial videos that are exclusive just to the style guide that will never be seen on social media. You'll also be getting five top summer fragrances that are all under $100 as well. You'll be getting five clothing essentials for the season that are all affordable. And all of these will have links to every single item in the style guide. Also, when you buy the guide, you will get a link to be able to be added to my Facebook community where this is the community of guys who are looking to talk to each other and be able to build their style to be better versions of themselves. And if you buy today, you will also be added to my close friends list on Instagram where I give style tips and a look into my life every day. If you're interested in taking your summer style to the next level, click the first link in the description box. Number five, speak slower and become a better storyteller. One of the reasons why so many people loved Obama when he was president is because Obama was an excellent storyteller and he spoke slow with confidence. The fact that so many people are surprised to hear that anger in some of Reverend Wright's sermons simply reminds us of the old truism that the most segregated hour of American life occurs on Sunday morning. For example, have you ever been in a conversation with someone and they're running over their words, talking extremely fast. And you have to ask them what they said over and over again. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. But when you're around a crowd of people and you're slow with your words and you're confident about your story, everyone seems to gravitate to your story about what you're talking about. Now, the key to being a great storyteller is to be able to start with a great hook. You want to start with a great hook that pulls everyone in around you. Or if you're on a date, being able to tell that story with a good beginning. I don't understand why so many people are not talking about this. Each of these two real people into your story and they want to know what you're talking about. Now, when you finish these stories, you have to make sure there's a payoff to why people are listening. It's like watching a movie and there's a payoff at the end of why you enjoy watching the movie in the first place. A simple way to look at this is the hero's journey. One of my favorite trilogies is Creed. If you ever notice in Creed, Michael B. Jordan is always at a particular point where he starts and at a much greater point at the end of the movie. The beginning pretty much gets his butt kicked all the time. He trains to a certain point where he is able to fight and then he's taken down. In the middle of him getting taken down, that is the structure of the body of the story. In the beginning where you see where he's at, that's what reels you in. And at the end of the movie where he always has this triumphant moment where he conquers his biggest demon, whether in Creed 3, it was his best friend. There was a sense of power and a payoff when you saw him win that fight. Number six, stay well groomed. When you constantly keep your grooming A1, this is something that stands out about you because for some reason, and I don't understand it why in 2024, Every guy does not focus on keeping themselves well-groomed. One of the ways that you can do this is try to get a haircut at least once a week. Now, if you're someone that can't afford to get a haircut once a week, here's what you can do. 
When I was younger and I was in high school, I bought myself my own clippers. Now when I bought myself my own clippers, this was just in between weeks where I couldn't afford to get another haircut. So what I did is I made sure that these particular three points were covered and trimmed up before I went to school. I made sure to cut the excess hair under my beard and on my neck. Also made sure to shave the back of my beard near my ear. Now for those of you who don't have any facial hair in high school or college or older, just make sure that your mustache or the excess hair that you do have is clean cut. Make sure you shape it with some good angles and a good edge. And the last thing that you can do, lightly touching the C cups on your hairline, lightly touching it. I'm not telling you to go crazy. I'm just telling you to lightly touch those C cups. This will give you the appearance that you actually got a haircut when you did. The second thing that you can do is making sure that your nails look good. So if you have nails that are badly bitten, have a lot of dirt up under them, this is a sign of unattractiveness. So what you wanna focus on is either getting your nails done or just making sure you're not biting your nails. Having clean nails is actually a sign of wealth. If you think about it, do you think Jay-Z, Drake, or even Jeff Bezos have dirt up under their nails? I think they're too rich to do that. And for my last point, become good at being a good conversationalist without even saying much about yourself. You want to get good at asking open-ended questions. Get other people to start talking about themselves because the truth is people enjoy talking about themselves. So when you get people to talk more about themselves, they feel a sense of connection with you because they're being able to tell personal things about themselves. Because let's face it, not a lot of people are great listeners. And this is what we're showing in this situation. Getting people to share their thoughts, their feelings is a sense of therapy for them. So you become a more enjoyable person to talk to and very attractive. Another thing that you wanna do while you're doing this is give a slight head nod whenever you're talking to someone and giving them great eye contact. And while you're doing this, you want to make sure that you remember their names. So always start a sentence by saying that you understand by saying their name. When you tell a person you understand what they're saying and you're using their name, you give them a sense of feeling important. All these things make you infectious and very interesting to be around. Now, if you made it to the end of the video, you have learned all ways that you can be the most attractive person out of your friend group. But not only that, you have a chance of winning your own pair of clean white sneakers if you comment the word style guy in the comments. I appreciate you guys for watching this video and don't forget to hit that link to get your summer style guide today. Make sure you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.